Hi, I'm Mark Quinlan with Matrix Systems. We are the, the out of there specialist smog hog manufacturer, certified sales and service agency for Northern California and Northern Nevada. We've recently installed three smog hogs to examine how smog hogs work and their common applications. This is a model PSG 22 3 smog hog from the out of there specialist with an airflow capacity of between 4,400 and 6,200 cubic feet per minute. It's used to filter grease, smoke, and odor from commercial kitchen exhaust. It's being used in a high-end Chinese restaurant in San Francisco. Smog Hog commercial kitchen exhaust air filtration system utilizes a number of different components and features to clean the exhaust air. Initially, on the inlet plenum, there's a series of baffle filters to catch any debris that come up, comes up through the hood and spread the airflow so that the precipitator cells come in contact with all of the dirty air from the commercial kitchen operation. Precipitator cells basically ionize the airstream initially with a high voltage direct current charge, subsequently have collection plates with a lower voltage charge that consolidates tiny particulate of grease and smoke onto the collection plates, cleaning it from the air. Precipitator cells are powered by a solid state transformer which converts household current into two outputs, a direct current at very high voltage at 10,000 and 6,000 volts respectively. This unit incorporates three different rows or passes of these precipitator cells to handle a very heavy loading operation. After the precipitator cells have removed all of the solid liquid particulate, grease particles and smoke particles, what is left is molecular odor consisting of hydrocarbon atom molecules that we all smell as part of the cooking process. The final stage of filtration are these odor media trays filled with a potassium permanganate odor media which oxidizes hydrocarbon molecules as they pass through the screen side of the trays leaving us with clean air exhausting from the smog hog through the exhaust blower fan. The smog hog incorporates an automatic wash system which comes on a time basis during the hours of operation in the evening when the restaurant is shut down. It util utilizes spray nozzles and hot water with the periodic addition of a proprietary specialized detergent concentrate to clean the accumulated grease and smoke particulate from the precipitator cells keeping the smog hog in operation for many months prior to any required manual exchange of those components. Here we have our main saline valves and pressure gauges. Detergent tanks and detergent pumps which are controlled by the main wash panel through these outlets. It's a series of solenoid valves that on a time basis provide for the flow of water onto the precipitator cells through these nozzles in these wash manifolds. Wastewater from the automatic wash process is collected through drains in the floor of the smog hog cabinets and then is transported through these pipes to a rated grease interceptor prior to being disposed of in the sanitary sewer. This is a UAS main electrical control panel. On this control panel we have several push buttons. We have the main buttons for blower start, blower stop, for the smog hog. On this particular uh, panel we have a VFD. The VFD is operated in this particular mode and then the bypass in case we have failure in the VFD we can put it bypass. Wire start, wire stop. Also, with these buttons, you have a time clock that you can program the R cycle. Power pack reset is when we have a power pack alarm. We have a duration of 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, we'll have an alarm on this indicator panel. Main disconnect on and off for the electrical panel inside the heart of the system. We have a PLC. The PLC is called a computer, operates the system as far as start stop, water cycle, power pack failure. This is a time clock. The time clock is set as far as a program time. 
and that's determined by the customer. And that operates the water cycle every day. The PLC not only operates the heart of the system, but we also have a fire protection system that's linked to the PLC.